We at 99 Spokes love bikes of all shapes and sizes and believe that everybody should get an opportunity to go out on a bike that puts a smile on their face. But we also know that a lot of bikes, especially sophisticated EMTBs, can cost quite a pretty penny. Thankfully though, as more and more companies enter the marketplace and e-bike technology continues to grow, the financial barrier to having your own e-mountain bike continues getting lower and lower. And today we're celebrating this by making a list of high quality, sophisticated e-mountain bikes that all cost less than $5,000. To make the cut, each bike had to come with a tried and true power delivery system, mountain bike specific components, and maybe most importantly, come from a respectable brand with a history in the mountain bike industry. And I can't think about a better way to start this list off than with the most affordable bike on our list, and that is the Polygon Siskiyou T6e. The Siskiyou T6e wins the award for being the best bike on a budget and costs just 3,599 US dollars. The bike weighs 55 pounds or 25 kilograms and is spec with a Shimano EP6 motor that puts out up to 85 Newton meters of torque. That motor is powered by a 504 watt hour battery that is stored in the down tube. Moving on then to the bike itself. The bike comes with 29 inch wheels front and back and has 150 millimeters of travel up front and 140 in the back. The bike has relatively aggressive geometry for being a trail bike. It's got a relatively long reach and a 65 degree head tube angle and is the only bike on our list today that has a flip chip that allows you to change the geometry so that you could run this bike as a mullet should you choose. Moving on to spec, the Siskiyou T6e has a Suntour Xeron fork matched to a Suntour Edge shock. It also has a 10-speed Shimano drivetrain with an 11 to 46 tooth range, SRAM Code R brakes, and lastly, Schwabi Hans Dampf tires. So what's our verdict? We're gonna have to give this bike four out of five goats. The fact that it does come at such a low price point is awesome, but you probably will want to eventually upgrade that drivetrain and maybe the suspension as well. So you should keep that in mind should you go with the Polygon. Outside of those part spec nitpicks, we do love the fact that this bike has such awesome geometry and feel that this frame would definitely be worthwhile investing some money into nicer components down the road if that's the direction you chose to go. Our next category is the longest range value EMTB. So in other words, how far can you go on one charge? And the winner is the Norco Fluid VLT A1 with the 900 amp hour battery. That's right, this thing has a 900 amp hour battery and costs $4,798. Now, it should come as no surprise that with such a large battery, it is the heaviest on our list, weighing 60 pounds or 27.2 kilograms. The bike is available in some other battery options as well if you don't need quite that much range, but that's the one we're gonna be focusing on here. The bike is powered by a Shimano EP8 motor and puts out 85 Newton meters of torque. Norco claims that this bike was able to go 39 miles or 63 kilometers and cover 11,000 feet or 3,500 meters of climbing on just one charge, which is really impressive. Moving on then to the more mountain bike specific bits of the bike. It does roll on 29 inch wheels with 140 millimeters of travel in the front and 130 in the back. The Fluid VLT A1 has a coil sprung RockShox 35 Silver and a RockShox Select R shock. Norco has also spec this bike with a 12 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain and some four piston Dior brakes. The geometry is rather well-rounded other than the fact that it has some pretty dang long chain stays measuring 462 millimeters long. So who is the Norco Fluid VLT A1 for? Well, obviously, if you're looking for the most possible range on one battery charge, then look no further, this is the one for you. But one of the ways that Norco was able to do that at such a low price is by compromising just a little bit on the part spec, particularly with that RockShox 35 coil fork, not super thrilled to see that on here. Overall, we're gonna have to give this bike four out of five goats. It's awesome to see such a long range bike on the market for under $5,000. But again, you may want to make some upgrades should you choose to purchase this bike. Before we get to our third bike, which just so happens to be my personal favorite bike on this list, I just wanna stop real quick and say that if you're finding this video helpful or entertaining, if you would think about liking this video as well as even subscribing to this channel, 
that would help us a lot. Essentially, it'll tell the folks there at YouTube that this is a good video and they'll send it out to more people to watch. Thank you sincerely for doing that. Now on to bike number three, the Canyon Torque On 7. The Torque On can best be described as a mountain bike that met a motorcycle and had a nice little baby together because this bike is meant for descending. It costs $4,299 and weighs 51.4 pounds. Just like the Norco, it has a Shimano EP8 motor that puts out that same 85 newton meters of torque. Unlike the Norco though, which is more of a trail bike, this thing is a full on free ride e-bike with 180 millimeters of travel up front and 175 in the back. In addition to the travel, it also has a very free ride focused geometry, sporting 27.5 inch wheels front and back, the shortest chain stays on our list at just 430 millimeters long and the slackest head tube angle at 63.5 degrees. Moving on to the part spec, and I am pleased to say that this bike has the best spec of any bike on our list. Starting up front with the RockShox Zeb R fork paired with a RockShox Super Deluxe shock in the back. It's also got a 12 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain, some very powerful Shimano M6120 brakes, and some super grippy Maxxis tires, an Asagai up front, and a DHR2 in the back. So who should think about getting the Torque On 7? Well, if you only climb hills so that you can rip back down them again, then this Torque On is absolutely the bike for you. I honestly can't think of any riders that I ride with who would be able to find the limit of this bike in a free ride setting, but if you were looking to take it on more of a trail ride, I think those smaller wheels would be a bit of a detriment. Overall though, we're gonna have to give the Torque On five out of five goats. We have to hand it to Canyon for making a bike that is so free ride focused when a lot of companies are starting to look more and more into lightweight trail e-bikes. Moving on from our very free ride focused EMTB to our next category, the lightest value EMTB. And the winner of this is going to be the Trek E Caliber 9.6, which comes in a dollar shy of our price limit at $4,999 and weighs just 41 pounds or 18.5 kilograms. That's more than 10 pounds less than the next lightest mountain bike on this list. And there's a couple ways that Trek has been able to pull this off. First of all, it features the Faza Ride Trail Motor that puts out just 58 newton meters of torque, but is by far the smallest, lightest, and most compact of the e-bike motors we've seen so far today. It's also paired with the smallest battery of any of the bikes we've seen, just 250 watt hours. A cool thing though about this particular battery is that it can be removed fully from the frame, saving 6.4 pounds off the bike if you wanted to take it on a ride without the electric assist. Another reason why this bike is quite a bit lighter than the others on this list is that it is very cross country focused. It rolls on 29 inch wheels and only has 120 millimeters in the front and just 60 millimeters of Trek's proprietary ISO strut suspension in the back. In terms of parts and components, the Trek E Caliber 9.6 has a RockShox gold fork up front, but this is the air sprung version, which I like a bit more than the coil sprung version, which is on that Norco. It's also got a 12 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain with an XT derailleur and those same Shimano MT420 brakes we saw earlier. Lastly, the bike comes with the Bontrager XR3 tires. Now the XR here stands for the lighter weight sidewall compound as opposed to the SE tires. I can't help but think that with a 40 pound bike, you might want some slightly beefier tires, but again, this is designed to be a cross country bike. So what's the verdict on the Trek E Caliper 9.6? Well, if you are looking for a bike that's gonna feel the most like a traditional cross country mountain bike and one that you can even ride without the use of a motor and battery, then this is a fantastic option. But riders looking for maximum pedal assistance or who wanna push their bike extra hard on the descents should probably look somewhere else. All in all, we're gonna give this bike 4.5 goats out of five we think it's awesome that you can get a sub 40 pound e-bike for under $5,000. That would have been unthinkable just three or four years ago. So hats off the Trek for pulling that off. Our fifth and final bike is not only the lightest, it is also the cheapest on our list. And before you get all excited, let me lead with this. It is a youth bike. That's right, category number five is the best value youth EMTB on the market. 
And the winner is going to be the Specialized Turbo Levo SL Kids, which costs $3,800 and weighs 36.6 pounds or 16.6 kilograms. The bike features the all new Specialized SL 1.2 motor that puts out 72 Newton meters of torque. That motor is attached to a 320 watt hour down tube integrated battery. As I'm sure you've noticed by now, the Turbo Levo SL Kids is a hardtail and rolls on 24 inch wheels. The 100 millimeter RockShox Reba fork this thing is specced with puts it at a very respectable 66 degrees. It's great to see that Specialized has kept a pretty progressive geometry on this kid's bike instead of going with something a little more conservative. That fork is though coil sprung, which will mean you won't be able to fine tune it to your child's weight as they grow or their riding style changes. Rounding out the rest of the spec, it does have a SRAM NX 11 speed drivetrain, some SRAM Level T hydraulic brakes, and the Specialized ground control tires. Specialized has always pushed the envelope when it comes to packing adult size fun into a kid size bike, and I think it's great that they brought that to the EMTB world. Now, how many families are gonna be able to afford a $3,800 e-bike for their kid? I'm not really sure. And for that reason, I am just going to give it four out of five goats, but it's pretty cool that kids now have access to this kind of technology, should that be what your family's into. So there you have it, five value-packed EMTVs. And while each of these bikes brings something different to the table, if I were to take one home with me, like I said earlier, it would be that Canyon Torque on seven. It just seems like you'd be able to bring the bike park everywhere you go. But I'm curious to hear which bike you would choose out of these. You can go ahead and let me know what that is down in the comments, as well as if you have any more questions about any of these bikes or really any bikes in general. While you're there, we would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And lastly, remember, bikes are for everyone. Have fun out there.